Welcome dreamers, this is Ravindra Thubay faculty at Vagus exam prep and I welcome you all to the new series called as Daily Dose. It can be also considered as a supplement, daily supplement of fundamentals or some important numericals. So let's welcome you back to the Daily Dose. Now I brought you a very important topic of a sheet metal operation, designing of punch and die dimensions. Now you know that whenever we talk about sheet metal operation, there are two operations comes in the picture. One is called as punching or piercing operation and second is called as blanking operation. Sir, what is mean by punching and piercing operation? So producing a hole of required shape and size for in the given sheet is called as punching or piercing. So when the raw metal sheet is given to you and if in that raw metal sheet we are interested to produce a required shape, required shape of hole that is called as punching and piercing. And then when the hole is created, can I say that whatever the blank or slug comes out, that will be wastage. Therefore, in punching and piercing operation, raw material sheet is useful to me, whereas blank or slug is wastage. Now, this operation is performed with the help of punch and die combination, die is kept stationary, punch is kept movable, and punch is applying required force for shear fracture to take place. Now, the shear fracture will take place by penetrating the punch in a thickness direction of the sheet. So, punch has to penetrate in this thickness direction. And to allow that punch to penetrate into thickness direction, the size of the punch is always kept less than the size of the die. And whatever distance by which size of punch is kept less than die size is called as clearance. It is called as radial clearance. C. C is called as what? Radial clearance. So, I will say that C is exactly equal to radial clearance. And how that value of C is being calculated? We know that radial clearance is exactly 0 0.00. 3 to into into what small t into root of root of what root of shear stress or shear strength of the material so this is nothing but called as tau u and the answer will come in what millimeter this is called as radial clearance can be calculated now sir what is been by blanking operation sir blanking is exactly opposite of that punching operation so whenever we are interested to produce a blank of required shape and size from the given raw metal sheet, it is called as blanking operation. So this blank or slug is useful for me, whereas this raw metal sheet is completely wastage. But both the operations are performed with the help of same punch and same die. Only an output product which that we are utilizing, it will differ whether it's a punching or a blanking operation. If I'm utilizing the hole, I'll say that punching. If I'm utilizing the blank, I'll say that blanking operation. And punch size and die size is always differentiated from each other by the distance clearance. And clearance is calculated by the formula we have just understood. Now the question is that, how to decide the punch and die dimensions for respective punching as well as blanking operation? That's a million dollar question. So we know that sir, whenever we are talking about a punching and blanking operation, what happens? Punch start penetrating into thickness direction. When the punch start penetrating along the shear area, the shear stress start increasing and one point will come when the punch is penetrated by sufficient thickness that shear stress will reach to what ultimate shear stress the shear stress value will reach to what ultimate shear stress and when the value of shear stress reach to ultimate shear stress the fracture will take place now there is a propagation of crack and there is a piece will get separated and the, whichever the piece is getting separated called as a blank or slug but after the fracture takes place for general engineering material, there is an elastic recovery is observed. And that elastic recovery is very minute. As the clearance is very small, in the same manner, elastic recovery is minute. But what happens, whatever raw metal sheet is, that start contracting. And they will get contracted and settle down on the size of the punch. So can I say that this whatever raw material is there, this raw material, raw metal sheet is there, it will start what? Contracting. It will start what? Contracting. And once they get contracted, it will get settled down on the punch size. Because solid punch is there. Solid punch is there. This is my punch size. And there is a radial clearance is provided on the both side. C stands for my radial clearance. C stands for my what? Radial clearance is provided. So whenever the contraction, elastic contraction and recovery takes place, the material gets settled down on the size of the punch. When they get settled down, if I withdraw the punch, if I withdraw the punch, can I say that it will left over the hole, which will be exactly same as the size of the punch. So which means that the size of the hole is controlled by size of the punch. Size of the hole is controlled by size of the punch. So therefore, can I say that, sir, very scintillating word I'll write out here. So punch size, 
point size will be exactly equal to whole size or you can write down in opposite direction can i say that whole size produced can i say that a whole size produced remain exactly equal to a size of punch is size of what punch therefore it is right written as punch size it is written as what a punch size i hope so you are understanding this particular important drama is it okay yes whichever the blank is coming out now it will also get elastic recovery and it will get expanded and whenever it is expanding it will settle down on the dye land it will get settled down on the dye land so therefore that blank or slug which comes out it will get what expanded expanded and we generally say that the raw material blank or raw metal sheet is the parent that parent is getting attracted to child that's why it is getting contracted and the blank is a child we are getting attracted to the parent it will get expanded and when it is expanding it will settle down on the dye land and once this blank or slug comes out can i say that blank or slug will be exactly having same shape as that of the size of the dye therefore i'll say that sir blank size blank size blank size remains exactly same as that exactly equal to die size exactly equal to what die size blank size remains exactly same as that of exactly equal to what die size is it understood everyone yes so now there are two operations one is punching in which hole is important one is blanking in which blank is important so therefore fundamental formulas are designed so in punching operation as the hole is important for me and hole size is controlled by punch size so during punching operation first of all punch is made exactly equal to exactly equal to hole size so therefore in punching operation i'll made what the punch size made exactly equal to a hole size and when the punch size is designed now die size has to be decided by adding the clearance so therefore die size is made exactly equal to the punch size plus twice the clearance these formulas are designed as per a circular blank or circular hole that we we are interested to produce this is the formula now what is for blanking operation for blanking operation blank size is controlled by the die size that is important so therefore die size is made exactly equal to blank size and the die size is designed first and once the die size is designed punch size has to be manufactured or created by subtracting the clearance so therefore punch size will come exactly equal to die size minus twice the clearance minus what twice the clearance so if you want to summarize that sir in punching operation punch size is made exactly equal to hole size and clearance is provided on the die whereas in blanking operation die size is made exactly equal to a blank size and the clearance is provided on the punch i hope so you must have understand this simple fundamental theory in a daily dose thank you everyone take care all the best